Let's prove this nice little equation for the sum of the first n squares. 1 squared plus 2 squared all the way up to plus n squared is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. It's not the most elegant equation in the world, but it's not so bad. So let's take this time to appreciate it. And by appreciate it, I mean prove it. This is a pretty straightforward induction proof, so I definitely recommend you give it a try yourself before watching the rest of the lesson, especially if you're trying to hone those induction skills. Let's see a quick example of this equation in action before we get into the proof. Say n equals 3, so the sum of the first 3 squares. What's that equal to? 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared. What is that? Well, that's 1 plus 4, which is 5, plus 9, which is 14. So we know the sum of the first three squares is equal to 14. This equation tells us that it should also be equal to 3, because n equals 3 here. 3 times 3 plus 1 times 2 times 3 plus 1 all over 6. So this should be equal to 14, is it? Well, this is 3 times 4, which is 12, times uh, 7, which is 84, divided by 6. So it's 84 divided by 6, which is indeed 14. And so we see the equation works for n equals 3. Just a, a nice little example. Let's just go ahead and get into the proof now. Any good induction proof begins with what? Say it with me. Basis step. Pro that probably wasn't very well coordinated, because probably some of you said base case, and some of you said base step, and some of you said basis case. You know, call it what you want, base this, that, or the other. We'll just write basis. In the basis step of an induction proof, we prove that the result holds for the first number of interest. If you don't have a first number of interest, you shouldn't be using induction. So our first number of interest, this is a result about the positive integers, or the natural numbers. So our first number of interest is n equals 1. We just want to verify that this holds when n equals 1. So 1 squared, that's the sum of the first one square number, the first square number. It should be equal to this, where n equals 1. What is this? Well, it's 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1 plus 1 all over 6. This is just substituting 1 in for n. 1 squared is 1, so this should be equal to 1 also. This is 1 times 2, which is 2, times 3, which is 6, over 6. And hey look, that is indeed equal to 1. So we've verified for n equals 1. Indeed, the sum of the first square number is equal to this expression, where n equals 1. So it works for the first number. Next, the main attraction of any induction proof is the namesake, the induction step. In the induction step, we assume, we make what's called an induction hypothesis, we assume that our result holds for some arbitrary positive integer. So here we're assuming that the sum of, say, the first k squares is indeed equal to this, k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 all over 6. This is a perfectly valid assumption to make because we already proved that it's true for some positive integer. We proved that it's true for 1. So in the induction step, we assume that it's true for some positive integer and show this forces it to also be true for the next positive integer. So then, between the basis step and the induction step, we've shown that it's true for the first number and that if it's true for any number, it must be true for the next one, thus proving it for all positive integers. So here's our induction hypothesis. Now we want to prove that this equation also holds for k plus 1. Because we've assumed it holds for k, now we want to prove it holds for k plus 1. So the sum that we're trying to prove something about is the sum of the first k plus 1 squares. That's 1 squared plus 2 squared, all the way up to plus k squared plus k plus 1 squared. We want to prove that this is equal to this with n equal to k plus 1. 
Thanks to our induction hypothesis, we already know quite a lot about this sum, because this sum begins with the sum of the first k squares, which we, are, we already know is equal to that. So we can rewrite this sum as k times k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 all over 6. That's from our induction hypothesis. And then we just add on that k plus 1 squared at the end. Now you can see this looks like it could get a little messy. Here's what we're going to have to do. Let's write out what we want to show this is equal to. That can often be helpful in an induction proof, is actually writing out what you're trying to get to, where your sort of end goal is. We're trying to show that this is equal to this expression with n equal to k plus 1. So let's write this expression with n equal to k plus 1. That would be k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1, which is k plus 2, times 2 times k plus 1, which is 2k plus 2, plus 1, which is 2k plus 3, all over 6. So this is all over 6. Now, we don't have a fraction with a denominator of 6 here. We have these two parts. So we might want to combine them into a single fraction with a denominator of 6. We could do that by multiplying this by 6 over 6. If we do that and bring it all into one fraction, this is what we'll get. So here it is, bringing the k plus 1 squared term into the fraction. So notice, this we know is the sum of the first k plus 1 squares. We would like to show that it's equal to this. Now they both are just fractions with denominators of 6, so to show they are equal, it would suffice to show that they have the same numerators. So what we're going to go ahead and do is a brute force approach. We'll just expand this numerator and expand this numerator. If they're the same, then we're done the proof. We've shown that they're equal. Let's start over here with the blue, and hopefully we can fit this all on the board. I'm a little nervous, but let's go for it and see what happens. So we can't write equals anymore because we're just going to ignore the denominator. So we're just going to focus on expanding the numerator. First, we'll multiply k plus 1 by k plus 2. That's going to give us k squared, and then k times 2 plus 1 times k, so plus 3k then plus 1 times 2, so that's plus 2. And then we have that getting multiplied by 2k plus 3. 2k plus 3. And now we'll go ahead and multiply this through that. And what's that going to be equal to? k squared times 2k, which is 2k cubed. 2k cubed. And then k squared times 3, so plus 3k squared. Then plus 3k times 2k, which is 6k squared, so plus 6k squared. Then we've got 3k times 3, so that's plus 9k. Then we've got 2 times 2k and 2 times 3, so 4k plus 6, plus 4k plus 6. Now what we got to do is combine like terms. We've got 2k cubed, then we've got 3k squared and 6k squared, so 9k squared. Then we have 9k and 4k, so 13k's. And then at the end we've got our constant 6. That's what the numerator is equal to. We're hoping if we expand this numerator, it will be the same thing. And if it is, then we're done. Alright, so let's go ahead and do it. What we'll do is, let's... Again, we'll have to not use the equal sign at first because we're ignoring the denominator. Let's go ahead and multiply k plus 1 by 2k plus 1. So we'll start off with this same factor of k, and then we do this multiplication. So we've got k times 2k, which is 2k squared. Then we've got k times 1 plus 1 times 2k. That's going to be 3k. And then we've got 1 times 1, so plus 1. And then we can't forget our 6 times k plus 1 squared. k plus 1 squared, that's easy. That's k squared plus 2k plus 1. So we'll have that here, k squared plus 2k plus 1. Take a deep breath. Now, we've got k getting multiplied through this 
sum here. So what we can actually do instead of writing a new line is just increase all these powers of k by 1 to bring that factor through. So this is going to be 2k cubed, this will be 3k squared, and this 1 will turn into a k. All right, now let's finish things off. All we actually have to do now is combine like terms. We've got 2k cubed, and that's it. So 2k cubed. For squares, we have 3k squared plus 6k squared. So that's 9k squared. Then we've got k plus 12k, because this is a 6 times 2k. So k plus 12k, that's plus 13k. Then what have we got? We've got plus 6 times 1. That's all that's left. Are these equal? Oh yeah, 2k cubed, 9k squared, 13k, and plus 6. And that completes the proof. So easy as that. Not the most elegant induction proof in the world, but a proof is a proof. Once more for our induction step, we just assumed that our result was true for some positive integer k, and then we showed that it must also be true then for the next positive integer k plus 1. In order to do that, we prove that it's equal to this, and we prove that the expression we want it to equal is also equal to that same thing. So indeed, it is the expression that we wanted it to equal. And so, in conclusion, we have proved that the sum of the first n squares, 1 squared plus 2 squared, all the way up to plus n squared, is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Thanks for watching. i